All right. Real Ready. Bad. <laughs> we're Tina and Jason, and we're attempting to ride around Australia on our trusty Royal Enfield Himalayans, Annie and Franco. In the last episode, we continued our journey down the east coast and ended up in the beautiful Kangaroo Valley. The weather forecast wasn't looking good, so we did our best to prep the old tent for a rainy night. But not everything went to plan when we woke up and found ourselves in a pool of water. Today we start heading inland, aiming for the Aussie Alps. So let's roll. Oh, first night back in the tent, done. After a not so great start with the tarp because we hadn't set it up quite right. But it actually works. The, it works. You just have to make sure. All the edges are tucked yeah, in. Yeah. There was a lot of water in here last night on my side. At the, oh, at the start, yeah. Once we tucked the edge in there, it stopped coming in. It's still raining. So pack up what we can in here, go have breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then I think maybe we take the fly off. So we can pack it separately. Pack it separately from the Because this will get all tent. wet. Yeah, as long as it's not raining at the time. Because it's going to get wet anyway, right? Anyway, we're going to get ready now. We'll figure it out. Some yeah. stuff's going to be wet. But, uh, yeah. It's the update. <laughs> <laughs> so, this has got to dry from the tarp boo-boo at the start of the night. So we're just going to sit that up like that for a while, pack out what we can on this side of the tent and then um, go have breakfast. It's going to be a challenging day. Yeah, it's not going to be comfortable. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> so the reason we wanted to come down to Kangaroo Valley is because we it's uh, known for having lots of wombats and people see them down here and we hadn't seen any yet on the trip but uh, we haven't seen any here yet and I don't know if it's because they don't like the rain or because this spot they just don't come to but we still haven't seen any wombats. <laughs> The place we're going to tonight in uh, Canberra is also meant to have wombats, so maybe second time lucky. Yeah. Yeah? All right, um, yeah, let's go cook. Bowls are still smelling a bit like stew from dinner last night. <laughs> yeah. It's still weird filming in front of people. There's somebody making breakfast when we arrive, it's like, Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> We're still trying. We're trying to get over it. Finished brekkie. Now we've got to pack up the wet tent and uh, head off. Today we're going to a campsite just past Canberra called Cotter Campground and if it's not raining we'll uh, stop by the big marina and uh, Parliament House. Maybe and Fitzroy. Fitzroy Falls. A couple of sites on the way. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's starting to rain again now. <laughs> yeah, it's been on and off so we'll see. What's going on, baby? The sun just came out and shone on the tent. Look at that. Things are looking up. No, it's still pretty wet. Just needs to last maybe half an hour. Just to dry it a little bit. Just a touch. Just a touch. <laughs> the sun was just teasing us. Pulling down the tent now in the rain. In the rain. It's the only option. Yeah. Skies are grey. Grey skies are not going to clear up. <laughs> it's not a wombat, but it's something. Hello. He's totally not scared. No. Yeah. This one gets bed. Yeah. 
Now he's had enough. When he saw us, he like ran over. Yeah, he did. He wanted to go us. No, I think, like you said, he was after food. Yeah. Now he knows we're good for nothing. Yeah. He's like, their mouth shop is closed. They're not eating anytime soon. <laughs> Just at Fitzroy Falls lookout, we're at the car park anyway. The weather's still miserable though and it's a little bit of a walk to get to the lookout itself. So we're gonna give it a miss, continue on to Goulburn. I think we will stop by the big merino because that's right on the side of the road so we can stop for a quick happy snap there. What do you reckon? Cool. Jason. Oh, you wanna record this? Yes. Tina likes recording when, I, when I'm forgetful. So I forgot to shut, I forgot to lock the box. That's not the first time. <laughs> Oh, tricky. Nobody's gonna steal anything when we're on the road. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's go. I just want to get out of this shitty weather. to the big marina and as you can see the parking is at the rear <laughs> we've got the best spot in the house we're out of the street <laughs> <laughs> there you go the big marina as people don't normally see it now we'll go around the front and have a look we're in a bit of a rush so we'll leave all the helmets and gear on because we've got to get to the campsite and dry the tent out while we've still got daylight Just pulled into Cotter Campground and uh, pulled out the tent and it is drenched and it looks like we might have some more rain. Skies are grey. The weather report for Canberra, which is just like, this is like the outskirts of Canberra, says just cloudy, so. Fingers crossed. But we did get some firewood. Yep. Oh yeah. The guy wasn't meant to be here. I was supposed to close at what time? 4.30. Ages ago, but he was yeah. still here for some reason. Alright, we're going to cool. set up now and hopefully the tent will dry before we get in it. <sighs> Got 
ourselves an old fashioned tool. Yep. The ground's pretty hard here. But uh, pretty lucky, it's, it's actually quite windy, so the tent's drying pretty fast here. Well, at least the outside is. Yeah. Once we got those up like that as yeah. well, it's very easy. And we'll open up the, yeah. the doors. little bugger, maybe we can have him for dinner. No, Papa. I know, I'm not He's friendly. only joking. He knows, he knows what you want. <laughs> I wouldn't eat him. Man, it's good camping in the summertime. Yeah, so much daylight. When we were doing this in winter time, it would have gotten dark an hour and a half ago. 7pm now and we've still got Probably an hour, an hour and a half of yeah. sun of, of daylight. It's probably why we have Much to better. live off noodles. <laughs> yeah, that's why we were cooking noodles before. And now, we're cooking up another storm. stew. Another stew. We're going to build on the success of yesterday. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Life is good, Papa. Life is great. Food's on the boil, got the fire going. Yep. The camp's all set up, nice. This is what it's about. <laughs> the weather is... Uh, holding out. <laughs> the weather's holding out. There was a tiny sprinkle like a few minutes ago. Scared us in the cover on the bikes up again. Yeah, but this is an awesome but, campground. Yeah. There's like a river there, which we'll check out tomorrow morning and uh, hot showers. Yeah, what's it called again? A cotter camp? Cotter campground. It's like a national park campground, but hot showers. Mm. Yeah, it's like 15 bucks an adult, which is a bit pricey for a national park, but it's worth it. They've got uh, pretty good facilities here. Yeah. 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 I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice spot. <laughs>